Hey, <laughs> morning runners, how are you doing? So recently I just uh, find out, uh, I read about the secrets of the Kenyans uh. All the all the those top athletes are uh, like back back uh, Bekele, uh, Kipchoge. <laughs> they are actually doing uh, mostly uh, almost every single day something what they call is progression run. Yes, that's the that's what they call the secret of the Kenyans. But the thing is, not a lot of people are realizing that they are doing it. So now that I already discovered the secret of running fast uh, through progression regular progression run. So I'm gonna do my first ever progression run video today and hope I can crack the code uh, on being, uh, I would say, trying to catch up with them uh, eventually. No, uh, impossible dream, okay? So yeah, let's do the progression run. I'll talk to you more, share with you more what uh, progression run is all about after my run today, okay? Wait, before I start, I haven't uh, really explained uh, the concept of progression run is to run faster and uh, faster and faster split as the kilometers progress. For example, first kilometer, should be slower than the second, then second will be faster, uh, third will be faster than the second, then fourth will be faster and so on and so forth. So today most probably I'll attempt a 10 km progressive run whereby I challenge myself to do negative split for every single kilometer. Yes, this is the first time I'm challenging myself, uh, looking at the time very consciously and making sure that every time, every new timing that I record uh, is faster than the prior kilometer. Yeah, let's, let's go. So for the progression run, I normally have to really start off very uh, easy uh, so that your body will be able to warm up properly initially and get all your blood flowing through your whole body and slowly increase. So for the first kilometer, most likely I'm aiming for around 6 minutes plus before I slowly progress. Uh. If I start too fast, I don't think I'll be able to achieve uh, negative splits kilometer by kilometer. Okay, first kilometer down, running at around 616. So we're gonna step up uh, the pace a little bit more for the second kilometer. Hey guys, five down, halfway down. Uh, still managed to progress quite well and managed to achieve uh, all negative splits so far. So yeah, need to get faster and faster. Now I'm at around 5.33 three, three pace at this point in time. So the second half will need to be uh, much faster. Uh, yes, continue. I uh, hope I will be able to ace the challenge. Nice. Last kilometer. So far so good. Yes, last burst of five. Go! I did it. So every kilometer is a negative split. Oh, controlling the pace uh, consciously is much more difficult than I anticipated. I have to keep looking at the watch to know what uh, pace I'm going, whether I'm going too fast or too slow. Oh, I'm just glad my official first progression run has been completed. I take a rest first then I'll talk to you later.
Right guys, I've rested enough to be able to talk now. So let's talk more about progression run. First of all, I'd like to congratulate, congratulate myself, uh, pat on the shoulder for completing this progression run challenge whereby I run negative split for every single kilometer. That means the uh, kilometer, the next kilometer must be faster than the prior kilometer and so on and so forth. Oh, I make sense now. So <laughs> if you want to look at my runs, you can check out the description. Uh, take a look at my Strava link. I have more of my runs in there. So yeah, complete the challenge. And what is progression runs all about? Uh, recently, I've been doing a, uh, looking at a lot of uh, interesting YouTube videos and also blogs, uh, studies uh, here and there about how uh, the top elites uh, runners train. Uh, although I'll never be an elite, but I still uh, research a bit. Uh. So yeah, one thing consistent about all these elites, uh, like whether they are from Kenya, whether they are from Ethiopia, like Kipchoge, like Bekele, uh, they are uh, they do one thing very interesting they tend to run very slow on most of their days you think champions do not run slow right you are dead wrong they run slow but one glaring thing uh, that a lot of people might have missed out is they tend to do progression runs most of the slow slower days yeah that is very interesting progression run meaning uh, the champion for example they are running like four three minute pace right the progression run they can start from as slow as even five to even six minutes sometimes so you never imagine that a champion will run this slow even at their uh, easy days uh. so they will start out slow to ensure their body is warm up well enough like blood flowing through like i mentioned just now before they go into their harder uh, progress into harder and harder uh, intensity i would say as the kilometers uh, increases so what they do is good has been proven has been researched and in some case studies to really being able to uh, pro improve stamina quite significantly and also uh, uh, improve your mental uh, mental power when you're running a race uh. yes of course you need a lot of mental toughness uh, to be able to progress from uh, slower to faster and faster and faster and towards the end uh, with the last burst of fire you are able to outkick all your opponents uh. so this is something that has helped uh, a lot of top runners to really uh, do the final charge uh, uh, when they see the finish line so uh, in a way it will condition your body to run faster and faster and faster during races which each passing kilometers yes you must get used to it uh. if not uh, uh, for myself if you don't do this right a lot of runners will uh, realize they are always uh, have the mistake have the tendency of starting too fast uh, for the first half maybe you are running a half marathon uh, the first half you started first 10 kilometers started like five you're supposed to run at five yeah you started at five then after which the last 10 you are really hanging on for dear life for the race for the rest of your race which is not a good feeling uh, by the way so they rather uh, experts recommend rather you run for example first 10 kilometer i rather they run you run six uh six minutes per kilometer just a uh, estimation uh. then after that the final 10 you run four uh, on average also five uh, it's the same so yeah this will enable uh you and a lot of runners to be able to uh improve in their timings uh. i would say uh, this is something i would really 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 sink my head into and go and do extensive tests on myself yeah because the all the champions are doing it already so if you're not doing it why not yeah so yes i will uh see how it goes lah. hopefully it will help to improve my mental capacity mental power to really really outkick everyone towards the end of my races yes so yeah as you know right just now uh, i started from six around six minute plus to around uh, second home kilometer five five nine then eventually right uh, managed to increase slightly and slightly and slightly there was some occasion whereby i was quite close like four seconds away from my prior kilometer because controlling pace is uh, consciously is very very difficult i would say uh, unconsciously i've been doing this type of progression run but not so consciously i would say uh, this time i have to look at my watch uh, time and time and time and time again uh, countless time because i couldn't i don't really have the great experience to know how my body feel uh, running at uh, different paces so hopefully uh, as i continue to practice this progression run right i'll be able to get better and better and no need to look at watch already and being able to know based on feel right how fast or how slow that i am running 
So it's a very very interesting test and I'm really looking forward uh, to really putting it to the test and you know uh, re recently uh, all the runs uh, has been getting a little bit routine uh, with no races anything to look forward to right uh. I have to inject some fun into my own runs uh, so that I'll be able to keep things fresh and keep things going and keep myself motivated as I'm really more of a more or less of, the, of a solo runner yes yeah so this is fun today <laughs> so if you will really want to give it a go you can do your own research to see whether this is something that is suitable for you suitable for your body before you try it out yeah so yeah towards the end uh, it's always towards the end the last burst of fire uh, really feel very very good it always feels better to finish stronger than to finish slower and slower and slower and really uh, uh, you're panting you're hanging on for dear life towards the end yeah okay great mumbling so much uh. really really thanks for watching hopefully this video will be able to help you in some way to uh, help to improve your stamina if you want to give it a go give it a go and keep me updated on whether uh, you can comment below to let me know whether you're already uh, implementing all these type of uh, progression runs into your routine and let, let me so see uh, what's the updates are you going to implement also uh, share with me all your updates on how you are doing okay so thanks for watching and remember to like share and subscribe if you like this video and remember to run safe and keep on running uh, do you know I always bring this type of plastic bag uh, when I run so that I can throw a lot of things, wet things inside after my runs. Uh. <laughs> awesome man, this plastic bag.